The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. guys welcome to the genius kids show the only show that profiles the best of the best young talents in today's episode i have 10 year old ethan mudariki who is into robotics he works on exciting projects demonstrating innovative designs and even participates in challenges this episode emphasizes creativity problem solving and the point and the importance of science technology engineering and mathematics in education this show inspires viewers with the potential of young minds. My name is Aisha and I am your host. Help me welcome Ethan to the show. Hello, Ethan. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling about being on the show? Right now. Mm. Right now I'm feeling kind of nervous. Don't worry, you're okay. I'm nervous but too. But exciting and also I have courage somewhere here. Right there. That's where your courage is. Right here. Okay, nice one. So let's get into it. How many are you in your family and what position are you? Okay, we, we are three in my family and I'm the first born. Mm, you're the big brother. I'm the big brother of all those two. All right, so how many girls are there? There are at least two girls. Ah, so you're the only boy. Yes. So how are you managing that? Girls are trouble. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, think for the love, but uh, girls, uh, since I've lived for them more than for a semi quarter of my life, it's not that uh, difficult. It's not that bad. It's like uh, they just uh, want your support. Like my little sister today, she she was looking for me. She was like, Ethan, where are you? Oh, okay, that's nice. What's her name? He. Uh, right now, her name is Mfaro. All right. Hi, Mfaro. All right. So, which school do you go to? Okay. Yeah, I go to Abbey's Preparatory School in uh, Grindel Avenue. All right. Nice. And what is your favorite <coughs> subject? My favorite subject, I would obviously say ICT. ICT. Okay. Now I want to know why ICT? Because ICT, because at the beginning, we start with ICT. From ICT to programming, programming to engineer, engineer to scientist, scientist into entrepreneur. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Intra, intra, entrepreneur. entrepreneur. So you want to be an entrepreneur one day? Entrepreneur. I want to be more than an entrepreneur. Okay. And why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Because the, I want to, I want to feel like I can, I've accomplished this. For my future generation to know that, hey, my father was a scientist. So that's the reason I'm learning in a school that's of high class. So that's what I'm feeling right now. All right, guys, you heard it here first from the game changer, Ethan Mudariki, a robotics genius. Okay, so do you have friends? And what do you guys do <coughs> in your spare time? Okay, I have more than a whole class of friends mm. so in our spare time i would uh, sometimes we uh, go to this i would sometimes play with my first friends mm. my best friends then when they i go i manage to give my other friends some time like i have to balance it out although they will stop talking to me like one day i forgot to talk to my best friend and didn't talk to me for a whole week my best friend does that too if I don't talk to her for Even a week, Even one day like when we were coming back from a trip of Victoria Falls, yeah. I made a mistake spilling water on his good trousers. Right now, he's, he's still mad at you. Right now, I, I think he, he knows why. He knows he, he still remembers. So I would just say, I'm sorry, my friend. It was <laughs> by mistake. Was okay, my mistake. so we're apologizing on it. Okay. All right. So do you have a favorite sport? Right now, my favorite sport is cricket. 
cricket. Mm, yeah. Are you a bowler? Are you a what are they I'm a better. A, you're a batsman. Yeah. All right, nice. So have you ever hit a six or a four? Yeah, I would probably say a six. You have hit a six. Oh, well done. So what's the coolest thing you have learned this year? You're in grade five, right? Yeah. What's the coolest thing you've learned during grade five? The coolest thing I've learned in grade five. Can I fit anything, like anything? It can be anything. It doesn't even have to be from school. It can be anything you learned on your own. I would own. say it's the crossbreeding of animals. It's the crossbreeding of animals. Yeah. Right. Like a dolphin shark. Can you crossbreed a dolphin and a shark? Yeah, I saw it one day. Where did you see that? Like uh, on Wikipedia. Yeah. I'm going to have to do my research on that one. All right. So you are into robotics. Explain to us, Ethan, what is robotics? Okay. Robotics is the engineering of uh, robots, robots mm -hmm. although the making of a program. Like when you're doing robotics, check the pure essence and time of your brain capacity mm -hmm. and say, I can push myself to the limit to success and bring out the best I can do. So that's what I think robotic, robotics is to me. Right now, I think that's what robotics is to me. If you don't uh, agree, you can just uh, live your own way of saying this is robotics, robotics. But I think this is how I see robotics. Right. That's how he sees robotics, guys. We're getting educated by Ethan Mudariki. He's only 10 years old, but is already doing great things in robotics. So at what age did you start doing robotics? So I started robotics when I was grade 3. Grade okay. 4, I was 9. Grade 3, I was 8. So I started 8 years. So at 8 years, what made you decide to get into robotics? I mean, you could have done anything. You, you could have decided to just go no, watch No, I decided to want to go to robotics since grade 2. Since grade 2. Okay. Since my friend said, hey, robotics is nice. Then I he later on asked my friend, then I said, I want to join robotics and said, try next year. And I tried next year. And down now, that's where I am right now. Mm, so how has been the experience? Are you enjoying robotics? Yeah, I'm loving robotics. You love them. Right now, we, I was uh, programming programming yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was uh, programming uh, something for a... I think it was, a, was a, uh, something with a, a relay, a red light, and the uh, echo also. A relay, a red light, and a... Echo, but I don't know what it actually... A echo actually is... But I think I remember what I really enjoy. Okay, and so you're experimenting. I'm experimenting. All right. One day I actually opened my parents' DVD box. Are you allowed to do that? I did it at a young age. Okay. And how did your mom take that? Was she mad? Ah. <laughs> okay. So what do you enjoy most about working with robots? What I enjoyed most with working with robots like uh, when I make a robot, I'm like, this is my own fun and created. So my heart, with my pure time, it's my fu future image. That's how I feel. feel. And if it's a system, I'm like, this is what I created. Let the world bask in its glory and raise it up like it's Lion King. Oh, okay. <coughs> raise it up like it's Lion King. Like, so you enjoy creating. <laughs> okay, Ethan. So I, I'm told that you're one of the finalists in the Africa Science Baskers in 2022 and last year in 2023. What was it like being part of the Africa Science Baskers? In the Science Baskers, it was very interesting. I did see cool projects that I hadn't seen before. Like one time I saw someone thinking two screens mm -hmm. together like you he moved like when you're watching a, a movie mm -hmm. he combined those into one whole screen like when you when in, in a camera if you move like this mm -hmm. when you put it halfway your whole half your hand is on this side 
a few other angels on this side, but the other he said he doesn't have a camera and I'm like, wow, oh, if what people are making these days, I wish I, I wish I, um, I learned this stuff. Okay, interesting. So take us through your project. What were you showcasing at the Africa Science Baskets? So at the science, Africa Science Baskets, I was showcasing the smart security system. It's a system that was made for people who don't feel safe to leave their stuff unconscious without any supervision. So when you, so I've noticed that people are trying to to steal stuff. Like last week, when someone stole, I think, $4.4 million. Yes, from a bank. In was and I was like, it happened last week. Last week. Yeah. I wish those people had my system. <laughs> yeah. So you're into cyber security. Yeah, cyber security. I loved it. All right. So during the time that you were showcasing your project, were there any challenges? Uh, the challenge was at the same baskets, I we were one person short mm. because he ate a bad hot dog. Oh, and was he sick. busy releasing gases in the bath. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he couldn't participate because of that. Yeah, he was the right there. He releasing his gases while sleeping. Oh, okay. So if you're just joining us, it is the Genius Kids. And we are talking to Ethan Mudariki. He is a genius and he's into robotics. And he was just taking us through how he was showcasing a cyber security system at the Africa Science Baskets last year. Uh, so let's talk about building robots. Have you built a robot? Uh, I have built a robot. Like it was the, I think... Grade three. In grade three? Yeah. We you were a building a robot that had an ultrasonic sensor. That was what called is an ultrasonic sensor? An ultrasonic sensor is a sensor that can sense movement. Like it, that robot, the ultrasonic sensor was programmed that when it sees an object, like for example, take this bottle, mm-hmm. see the object, it stops, oh. reverses, moves on. But one thing I've noticed, what if I put it in a box? Mm-hmm. It would then start to reversing, moving to find the alternate An way alternate out. Route. But still, after I cut it open. Where did you cut it open? No, I cut, it, no, I cut the box oh, open. Oh, you cut the box open. Then, wow. All right. So are there any challenges about building robots? Challenges. Yeah. The challenge is the, uh, in building robots, like he, when once you he start he, testing out your he invention doesn't work, like take Albert Einstein, and he is the one who created the light bulb. The father of physics. Yes, and he created the light bulb. No. So who was it then? That was Edson Alpha, I think. Yeah, he was he, him. So uh, then this is the first time he tried it. It didn't, it didn't work. work. I'm told so people that it didn't work like for a thousand times. You yeah, know, yeah, that's true. People keep on doubting him. Like, you want to do it in life. Just use torches instead of your stupid light bulbs. But he said, no, I want to make the world a better place. If the guy didn't he existed, right now would be using torches right now to make this podcast. Yeah, that's so sad. So, Ethan, you're also working on a project, a security system which is going to be revolutionary for the 21st century. Tell us about your project. So, it was, it's the same project from, last year, from, the, from the first one, but let's say I'm upgrading it. Mm. Like I'm adding infrared lights, infrared I mean light. infrared cameras, gas sensors, just in case the guy just wants to blow up the bank to, to hide his traces. So the infrared sensors, what, are, what, what is their purpose? What are they supposed to do? So right now, I had infrared the sensors, they sense in the dark. Okay. Where they, they, they see the, the body's heat waves. Mm. Yeah, then the gas sensor, when anything like petrol goes in the air, mm-hmm. they, then I also wanted to add like 
what's for? Just in case he, when the gas comes out, ding, wah, stop right there, mm-hmm. lock in. Then he, later on, then after that, I wanted to add like a Bluetooth module so that you can, the people who own the house can pay, disconnect, pay, disconnect. And the the distance of the pairing would be, let's say, it would be go around the whole globe. Is that possible? I think if we, if we, if we, if I try to make my own Bluetooth module, I think it is. Okay. So you're going to make your own Bluetooth module. Mm. Interesting. So where do you see yourself in the future, career-wise, what do you want to be? I know you said you wanted to be an entrepreneur, but after school, what are you, after high school, what are you going to study? So I'm going to, after school, I want to go to a college mm-hmm. for that specialize in ICT, then university, specializing in my, I, my, my, uh, my, my, my talents. Wow. Then after that, I would, I would want to read more, making uh, myself more my intelligent. Then I would launch Project Speed. Then uh, very soon around the globe. Speed, 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 speed. I even wanted to try to make my own phone code. Let's let's say it's like a type of speed, but okay. I want to change it to speedy, speedy, yeah, speedy. I will call it speedy. Ah, you and speed. Okay, so I know when you guys are doing your robotics, you also do programming and coding. What is your favorite software to use when you're working? So let's say my favorite software is a Juno Uno. Juno Uno. Yes. So what what do you like about Juno Uno and what does it do? I what I like about Juno Uno is I can program my my project with it. And uh, what I and what it does is the Uno, the Uno, you can you connect it to your laptop. Okay. That programming. Compile. It's the uh, uh, text sensitive. So you have to make sure there are no errors. Okay. After you compile, I mean verify, you have to upload to the uh, Uno. Now your program is now permanently tested there on that Uno. So then you, if you want to change the program, you have to uh, put another one in there. Yeah. Okay. Then you have to start connecting, connecting. Yeah. If you want to make your own. Uh, electricity you can take uh, batteries but uh, what i would give to those who don't want to waste their money i would uh, recommend rechargeable rechargeable batteries. Yeah. all right okay nice so when you're building your robots do you prefer to work on your own or you like to work in a team i like to work in a team because i would always know they would have my they would have my back mm-hmm. like in the war you would always have someone Looking out for you, like I'm there for you. Someone and you're in the front, like someone's behind you and you're going. Ka, ka, ka. When someone wants to attack, ka. Someone wants to attack in the front, ka. That's why they call it back to back. Back to back. Yeah. All right. The back to back strategy. So, how do you come up with ideas for your designs? I come out with the, my ideas from designs. Well, usually. I would take them me from cartoons I would watch. Mm. And sometimes I would look around and I would be like searching like Dora, looking for what she's looking for. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. And then I find this is a problem that's up to me to fix. And I... And you fix it. And I fix it. Okay. So one of your hobbies is gaming on your laptop. What's your favorite game right now? He, right now, I actually don't have a favorite game. I try to tell you, the games I really like are GTA, GTA? Minecraft, Minecraft, Call of Duty. I've heard about that. Then he would say Poppy Playtime. Poppy 
Then Beach Buggy. Earth Fault 8. Then, did I say Minecraft? Yeah, you did. Then I would be... What else? The, this game I'd like to play. Candy Crush? <laughs> Candy Crush. I'm joking, that's mine. <laughs> Candy Crush, I got dark one. I got dark one. So I like, like Candy boring, Crush. Like boring, like boring. So it would take hours to complete one level. One level. Like it, plus the game is endless. Yeah. I had it reaches up to 300. I like that it's endless. I never run out of stuff to play. Oh, also Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers. I used I to know. have the highest scores, number one. Worldwide? Yes, number wow. one. Wow. And they would challenge rank you. Yeah. I used to be 16, but I put my back into it in 12 hours. And then you got to number one. Mm. Hmm. Then I would say Beach Buggy took me two weeks to complete the whole game. And now I'm just playing championships and upgrading my cards. Right. So how did you get into playing games? How did you discover games? I discovered games when I started watching YouTube. Okay. Like, uh, until people get more views when they are making YouTube videos. Like, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to call myself the, the, the game with. Game with. The game with. Yeah. And did like my idol he, in that in those the shows, it was like it was the almost everyone I'd seen, mm. I'd seen playing games. All right. So do you prefer playing alone or with friends online? Usually, I'm lonely. Like I, I don't have, I don't have anyone right now. Yesterday I wanted to ex- to be friendly. A robotic friend on mine on Roblox. Then I wanted, then I wanted to join in. The floor is love. When I entered, I was kicked out of my account. Mm, who did that? I, I I updated it. Then I entered, I was kicked out. Now I am. Now I have to sign up, and I forgot the quickie for quick access. I had the password, and I forgot it. Mm, sorry. Okay. So, what do you like most about gaming? What I like most about gaming is I can uh, do it. I can do anything. Like in uh, Beach Buggy, whenever you die, revive. Then you, you try again. Actually, usually when I die, I always come in first. Usually when, my, when I find out who killed me, I would... You kill them back. Find revenge. <laughs> Like in Call of Duty, you can't trust anyone. Mm. Even in Battle Royale, in Fortnite, you can't trust... You can never trust anyone. Yeah, one time I was playing Call of Duty. So I was I trust one person. Later on, I went to go and attack like someone. I, then the guy brought a whole army. All the players tagged in me one was the most troublesome player there. <laughs> but right now, I don't want to tell anyone my channel, my Call of Duty account, I want to stay anonymous. Okay. Because you want to make trouble. I'm a troublesome person. <laughs> One time I even played the, the, uh, what's it called, event. I came in first place. Mm. All right, to you, our viewers at home, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The Genius Kids. I had the pleasure of talking to Ethan Mudariki, a 10-year-old whose talent in robotics is truly inspiring. He has a passion for creating innovative projects and has a love for gaming on his laptop. He's proving that age is just a number when it comes to genius. Catch us next week for more incredible young minds and their unique talent. Until then, keep exploring and pushing the boundaries of your creativity. I am Aisha. Goodbye.
the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.